I think Ari Frita is just on fire right now. Many people may not agree with me, but it just feels like season three. They know what they're all about. Trashy, harem, isekai bullshit. They're leaning into it. I love it, to be honest. The Shizuku Power Ranger scenes just peak. The bunny clan just saying, come on, is this the best you got? Torture me harder. Come on, harder. And then the torture would be like, ooh, kind of fucking weird. Like, I love that shit. And right now, Hajime and crew are kind of taking a backseat. They're not gonna just save everything, but they're gonna kind of support the bunny clan and basically just assassinate some important uh, empire members. The goal isn't to overthrow the empire, but <laughs> make them know that we exist and that we're not to be fucked around with. Let's begin today's reaction. Oh. Are they doing more blood sucking stuff? Because they had a little bit of that last episode. Mm. I'm so glad we skipped the labyrinth, to be honest. Second to none, almost. I mean, she is the main girl. We share a deep, deep bond in season one, right? This is how we first met in the deep, deep dungeons of Labyrinth, right? Don't let the other girls hear this shit, though. Shea is number two. Shea is number two. Tia? Tio? Sensei. Where does Sensei land? We haven't seen Sensei in a long time. Tio. Kaori! I don't think it's very high up. I feel like Tio is higher up than Kaori, man. Oh. <laughs> no escape! <laughs> Just pouncing him? Oh my god. Yui is putting her balls on the table. She's like, nah, they gonna see this shit. Uh-uh. We ain't gonna act like nothing was happening. They will know that this is mine. Oh my god. <laughs> they just popped up out of nowhere as if they were just camping the entire time. What the fuck? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> this is a threesome now. Any other girl wanna join in? Kaori, you wanna join in? <laughs> Tea was fine. Shizuku, based on our look, I think she, I think everyone wants to join in. <laughs> Shizuku too is like, oh shit, I kind of too. <laughs> okay, okay, they gotta stop that. The, the, the hold on the zoom without the song playing, it's a bit too much. There's like three seconds of silence of nothing happening. Someone's about to get banned. How many messages do you have in chat? 49, you're pretty new. You've been following since fucking July and you still don't know how this shit works? Come on, bruh. Come on, man. Our princess? I have a feeling today's episode is gonna be frustrating. Because like, we haven't seen what the Empire is really all about. Other than, you know, them hunting the bunny clan. We haven't let, like, the shitty prince and, like, the different, you know, shitty people we saw in the trailer, right? They were doing some weird shit to her, so, like, I feel like it's that episode. Uh-oh. These guys definitely trash. Uh-oh. This guy is voice actor. Yeah, Kiritsugo voice actor also. I remembered first, um, Azazel. Was that his name? From High School DxD. Our fallen angel coach. Was that his name? Azazel? It, it kind of reminds me of that voice more than Kiritsugo, even though if they may be the same voice actor. Don't fuck with them. What they put in here? What did they put in the tea? I don't trust this tea. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Engagement. Oh no, we got an arranged fucking marriage happening to kind of signal the collaboration of two fronts, I guess. <laughs> the Power Rangers. Uh, I don't know. Power Rangers. Koki, I mean, our disguise was really trash. It was just the helmets, to be honest. We are armored too. Like, the armor also is like the biggest fucking thing. Like, hey, look at me. I'm the fucking hero. Shining gold armor. Look at me, look at me. Like, oh, come on. We should have had better disguises. Hajime should have gave them more than just the helmet. Yapping. Mm, I wonder. Oh. No, don't fucking, don't you dare gaslight the bunny clan and say they're terrified. No, 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 they're playing self-defense. You guys are monsters. Hey, your security sucks. Poor Liliana. Liliana's honestly getting thrown under the bus. Yes, Dude, this guy has done his fucking homework. Holy shit. Uh, this is the emperor though, right? He seems pretty intelligent. I don't know. There's a conflict of interest maybe, you know? Liliana's doing well playing dumb. Oh, fuck. <laughs> right now? Yeah? Yeah? Ah, oh, hi. Grid Oh, wait, this guy's Scar. Isn't he a super piece of shit? I forget exactly what he did, but I remember being disgusted at him and remembering this cross like scar on his face. This guy's a monster. Was he directly involved with maybe Shea's family? Why am I remembering this? I remember the scar, though, and thinking, like, what a piece of shit. Nobody. Oh, so this <laughs> Yo, what's she packing back there? The barrier girl is cheeked the fuck up. Shizuku honestly has no ass. But this cr What the fuck? Good googly moogly. <laughs> Uh oh. Flashback, maybe. Yeah, this flashback. I remember the scar here. Yes, this exact scene. Crash. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, Koki, do something. Koki, if there's any time to be a self righteous fucking white knight hero, do it right now. Oh. Hell no. There we go. Ooh, we heard a talk shit. Ooh. <laughs> Fucking Koki, man. Like. Why isn't he speaking up about all his justice bullshit? I thought he'd step in due to the clear discrimination that's happening with Shea, but I guess, yes, he's worrying more about the optics of how this might look because he's like supposed to be the representative of the group, but Hajime always able to say the shit that Koki can never say. <laughs> Avoiding, they're playing dumb. That's an act. She's acting. 
Fuck the labyrinth. Hatsumi is not taking this seriously at all. Maybe. Wait, why? <laughs> Don't get so Yoko fall. Hatsumi, was he always this fucking funny? Also, here, I feel like Shizuku got put under the bus here. I already know it's you, Nagumo-san, who made Shizuku and others dress foolishly. Key word on Shizuku, because she was always being so awkward with being the cute part. You can be a 14-year-old baldy at this rate. Bald. Bald princess. Hakehime. Bald princess. Princess Baldy. You and your dad to fucking meme around. We are so unserious about this. A little bit. Maybe. 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 I don't think we're really... I don't think we ever paid attention. I haven't heard a single dialogue thinking about the predicament that Liliana is in and how we might just ruin it. I don't think we were thinking about her at all. <laughs> I think that it was all about, let's do, you know, let's protect Shea. Let's, you know, make right with Shea. And then after that, it's like, all right, now let's assassinate the Empire's, you know, official people. Nothing. <laughs> Here we go. Things are about to get spicy. Oh man, here we go. I wonder at this point if we've already planned out the assassination shit. Like, Hajime is acting dumb, everyone else is goofing around. But what if the plans are already in action and we're about to get some big brain moments happening? Yo. <laughs> wow. What the fuck? I didn't expect him to actually go up and think of that. But if you listen to his tone of the voice, it's clearly forced. Like, it's, it's not genuine at all, right? Like, listen to the voice acting. Yeah. A bit scary, yeah. It's not like you at all. Oh, we shit talking already? We'll drop the formalities. Mm -hmm. Conquer multiple great labyrinths. Yep, ship, laser cannon. Why would I share it? That shit mine. What rights do you have? To fucking take our loot. You didn't contribute the empire. We don't even fucking pay tax to the empire. Fuck you. You don't rule us. Hey, who's gonna stop me? You? There's guards outside. Are they ready to ambush? I'm also worried about this fucking team, man. CGI, you know, soldiers are ready to fucking ambush us, but like, you're gonna need a lot more than this. These are literally weaker than monsters we're gonna find in the labyrinth. Hmm? The Emperor's interesting. He is definitely shitty, it seems like. Right, I haven't seen him do shitty things, but I'm definitely going to assume that he is, due, based on the actions of his people. And he is smart enough to know that Hajime could win, easily. He's not so stupid that he would just ambush and then just result in a loss. That means that he's going to be scheming way harder. What is his endgame plan here? He looks still so confident. Okay, Maybe he's like the man. gate emperor. Remember how we, much we glazed the gate emperor? Oi, oi. Oi, who would I be if seeing a strong guy doesn't excite? Yeah, Hat Hajime ex excites you? You gotta get in the line, buddy. There's a fucking queue of ladies waiting for Hajime. Yeah, they're strong. I mean, the fact that he even got off of his emperor throne and sat on the table 
as if he's like an equal to the people here. The Emperor... He... he pretty smooth, I think. <laughs> yeah, she also likes to take it up the ass if you're into that emperor. <laughs> no. Yeah, she might threatening aura. Ooh, I'm getting shivers just looking at him. Does he give off aura? I feel like because he said it himself, that's minus aura. Like, when you talk about aura and shit like that, you can't say that you have it, right? Other people have to glaze for you, or else if you say it, it's just kind of cringe. No. Hajime, what you gonna say? You gonna play dumb? Oh shit, here we go. <laughs> Master transmitter that may have created those weapons. I do respect the Emperor in how he is just approaching this kind of like diplomatically in a very passive aggressive way trying to poke holes at Hajime. It's, it's fun. And Hajime is playing dumb as usual. Uh. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. What would it take to ally with the Empire? But what's your greatest goal? To get back to Earth, right? The whole plan is to figure out a way to get back to Earth. But I don't think we would even ally with the Empire for such a goal. He's such a shitty person. I'm gonna... I'm gonna say that he doesn't... He's saying this as a joke. I... I called it. I called it? What? <laughs> I feel like he's just saying this as a joke. He's not taking it seriously. No, come on, man. Come on, man. Oh. <laughs> oh shit, you think a little bit more hostile now. Alright. Wait, what happened? I got the minimum confirmation. As in like he's poking at Hajime, even though Hajime is just playing dumb. Obviously everyone here knows that we're playing dumb, the Emperor himself, right? What are you doing? Ew. Ew. Yo, someone saved Liliana. Yeah. In like a pure diplomatic in terms of like gaining more power for a kingdom, this probably does seem like the right answer, but something about this is fucked up. I feel like we should figure out a way to stop this and Enrich the kingdom. そんな。まさか。こうなることを覚悟のしたが、今夜のパーティーで正式なものとするのです。魔人族の信仰で揺れ、王国には競技が必要ではないの。自己承諾ではありますが、その人のことが好きなのか。Of course not. Koki, save Lily, bro. なんでそんなに平然としているんだよ。Okay. I'm honestly on Koki's side here. Ah, Hajime will figure it out himself. He's got a different solution. What Koki is saying here is right. It's, it's just that Hajime always proves with his actions. He doesn't need to say all these idealistic things. Koki is all just yap, no action. Yeah, he is always so cold. And he intentionally says things in such a callous way. It's not as if he doesn't care about Lily's predicament. It's as if he's not thinking about Lily. I bet Hajime's solution will solve this problem too. It's just that the way he comes off makes Koki think that he doesn't care about any of this, right? Hmm? Also, why did Kaori stay behind? 
Wait, Hajime and the main girl is just left together. Look at that, they're all synced too. <laughs> Tio's not really visible here, but you know, share you with Tio. They're like, yep, bye. Kaori's staying at the table. Does that mean she's not part of the group? What the fuck is this? You figure something out? No? Because we care about you. Hmm? What was that? I didn't get that last part. Why is Lily weirded out by this interaction here? Hold up. Are they all just bad acting and lying right now? It's just a welcoming party, right? This is kind of weird to me. Based on that dialogue, I'm confused on why Lily is saying that. It sounds like they're trying to either hide up or cover some shit. They're being unnatural. Maybe they're playing dumb. Yeah, I don't know. And it's just the way that it comes off. Yeah, they're leaving Lily in the dark. The playing dumb and the unnatural acting is making her feel this way. Fuck the prince. The retconned prince. Apparently he existed for a bit in season 2. I don't remember. I just remember that Lily never existed in season 1. And this fucking prince never existed in season 2 to me. Gonna have another fucking sibling next season, man. Oh, Bruh. He's treating her like property. Hmm. I don't like this. I don't like this. He has no respect for her. Ugh. It's trashy ass shit, right? This is so fucking trashy. You just gonna titty grab a 14 year old? You deserve to die. This is the shit from the trailer. This guy's dialogue is fucking unhinged. Kill him. Yup, let's just kill him. <laughs> This guy, wait, this guy watched way too much porn. Like, actually just porn addicted brain rot. NTR tag, mind break tag, degradation tag, like everything combined. This guy, holy shit. Disgusting. Right now? Yo, someone show up. Koki, please. Anybody. Anybody. Hajime. Koki. Bunny Clan. Spider? Spider? Was that Hajime's? Assassination? Assassinated. Prince dead? He dead. He dead. Assassinated. Did Hajime have the spider little things before? Metal? It's metal, so it's gotta be Hajime. Let's go, Hajime. It just sucks that, like, in order to, like, justify these assassinations, the villain has to be so creepy and grapey. It's just like, that shit is just always so tactless. Like, that kind of fan service is just disgusting. But hey, it's a trashy isekai. What do you expect? Okay, so the prince has been assassinated. What if they blame Liliana, bro? Bro, what, what if they straight up blame Liliana for this shit? What's the cl Is this another event where we do some shit and Lily just gets like, what the fuck? Now I'm blaming it. It's like, oh, the prince is dead. What happened? L Lily found the prince dead. I think Lily killed the prince, bro. It's like, what the fuck, Hachime? You're going to save me? Ooh. That is so aggressive, Shea. Oh my god. I mean, Tio is probably bigger, but something about this. God damn. We are so ready. Aww. 
<laughs> the attention to detail with the little indent to show their belly button on their skin tight dresses. <laughs> We're doing this for you, Shea. So that your bunny ears will perk up again. Bunny clan coming in. And that is another ep Oh, Jesus Christ. Another episode of. <laughs> Gotta care for that shit. Another episode of Ari Fureta. Oh, man. It is happening. So, the aftermath of the Power Ranger shit, I guess we didn't really think about it. Like, what the fuck were you thinking when you wear your suit of fucking armor gold, man? And just with the Power Ranger helmet. Technically, he could have taken off the armor and wore something else, but I guess we did only give him the helmet, so we kind of got caught like that. More moments where Koki is confronted with these situations of injustice, and all he does is talk, but he can never really follow through with anything, and, and Hajime has to always kind of be there and say the shit that Koki could never say. And that's, I, I think that's one of the different, like, the, like, the most interesting things about, you know, this show. Like, Koki and Hajime, they're such parallels where they're both... Hajime is not a bad guy, but he definitely comes off more cold and threatening and more malicious, right? Koki is, like, the white knight of ideals where Hajime could be seen as... Maybe an anti-hero is the wrong word, but basically a person that's will, that's can do evil acts to defeat the evil and that type of character is someone that I always align with more than you know just the idealistic type the emperor is pretty interesting he like everyone knows what's going on <laughs> like, like come on everyone knows what's going on except we're all playing dumb and the emperor's probing and probing and He's pretty interesting. He's not just this dumb loser who is doing stuff on a whim. It seems like he is cooking with the plan now. I wonder if he could have anticipated that his son has gotten already assassinated. Who knows when they'll discover that news, but it's like, the assassination is already under its way. Now, there's even more Bunny Clan members, you know, hopping in to this party. There's a lot of people here, and Tio did make the note that, like, there's a lot of people here. Tonight's the party, right? It's easier to move around. Looking like we're going to do, like, a mass assassination at this party. I don't know, but that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.